Hey guys, and welcome back to the WT Farm Girl channel. If you're not familiar with the channel, or if you've only seen a couple of videos, consider subscribing and hitting that bell, and go back through and watch some of the old videos. There'll be lots of new videos coming up as we get ready to head into hay season 2021. It is a crazy year. It is a very crazy year. I'm going to give you a hint. We've already finished first cutting. So, <laughs> I already know how this story is going to end. It might not be as good as you think. In today's video, we're going to go over Eric's new hay trailer that he's working on. Take a look and see our progress. We're gonna go through and clear out some stuff in the barn and clear out some stuff in the horse pasture and do a little bit of maintenance work. Plus, we have a new baby animal on the farm and it's so cute. Let's go. Okay, one of the major things that has to happen before we can get hay caught is I have to clean out the barn, which is a combination of stuff from Eric's dad's house, some leftover trees, leftover hay, and of course my woodworking projects. So Eric's been putting his 20-year-old uh, commercial grade Ferris lawnmower to use. It's really taken quite a beating, but it's lasted like a champ. This area was clear, but then when we made the final move of Eric's dad's house and pulled everything out, it all just kind of piled right in the work area. And all this stuff, or most of this stuff, is going to go in the cabin. This is my cabin desk right here. I've got three desks, actually, and then all of the filing cabinets. It's gonna be amazing, that's what I'm saying. Like, this is gonna be really super nice. And all of this came out of Eric's dad's garage. It was just sitting there. Carl. do you? Well, I guess I lost my tractor today. Dangerous. 
Smack him on the butt. Smack him <laughs> with your stick. <laughs> <laughs> Did you raise it up or lower it? Raise it. Oh. Right, we're gonna roll. I'm gonna get on one side. And we're gonna roll these forward. Oh, that's cool. I thought we'd look, physically have to lift them. Shows what I know about this stuff. Hopefully, my measurements were good. That's what I was thinking when I was looking at it. <laughs> I measured them off these, so. Ah. Uh, Okay, well, I guess we'll find out. one more hole in the line up and that is it uh, this is actually cross bent the wrong way so uh, it was bent into a W which really didn't allow it to get into position so we had to rebend it the right way all right so I've got a pile of chain um, I don't think that stuff's that heavy that it has to have a chain but I just I've got a chain so Ooh, let's see if this will work So I've got it long enough chain, but the bolt that was on the end of it is missing. Give me a few minutes. trying to prove a point to me that you can in fact come in from the back end
the uh, upside of having cement floors is you don't have to worry about woodchucks digging through your plastic tarps and making burrows on top of them. We just put this down right before you put the hay in here. And he dug all the way out from there and kicked up all the dirt into here. And all the hay that was right there got ruined. I love wood shucks. They make a great roast though. So we had the chicken hatch out a chick, which is right there. This is my second side of the chicken coop. The main coop's over there. Actually, that chicken hatched it, but she was sitting on the nest too. So I moved her over here with the baby to see if any more would hatch out. And she has been doing such a good job of being mom. Aren't you? Yes, you are. Daddy is convinced it's a new boy. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's eating or drinking yet. I'm just kind of counting on mom to to show it what to do. I know you want to be friends with a chick, but you're a little too fragile. So I'm hoping the chick will kind of eat some of the stuff in here. And of course, prepping for hay season wouldn't be complete without maintenance on all of our equipment. Now, both the wheels and the wheel axle haven't ever been done since we bought the tractor a couple years ago, so they're definitely well overdue. Unfortunately, I didn't have the best experience, and as you can see, it sprayed the camera all over. I guess that's what I get for trying to use my phone. It still hasn't quite recovered. Alright, so it took a little work. You can hear it sizzling. I'm not going to turn it too much in case it decides to spray out at me again. So, it shouldn't be up to that fill plug, but maybe it is. So I'm going to turn this off and put it somewhere safe. All right, I like to do the one, two, three method with pulling these things out. You twist and push in at the same time because this will knock it down into there. And oh my gosh, I, I might need to go get a bucket. Oh, okay, it's at the end. I was like, I'm getting a little full here. Wow, look at that stuff actually looks like normal colored hydraulic fluid. The rest of that looks like awful crap. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's definitely some very bad looking uh, fluid. And this, as far as I know, it hasn't been changed since we owned the tractor. We've had it for maybe four years now, I want to say. Yeah, probably should have been done two years ago. All right, so while that's busy dribbling the rest of that out, uh, this is what the uh, plugs look like. It looks like sludge, but that is actually metal shavings. So we're going to clean that off and uh plop them back up there as soon as he's done as soon as he's done with his uh duty up there i have been pretty well covered in hydraulic fluid for the last couple of days but um at least this one didn't cover me in it so things to be thankful for morning guys so it's the next day and we're going to try to knock out a lot of this trailer hopefully get some wood decking on it <laughs> I'm going to throw a time lapse on because there's going to be a lot of work to get done. Alright, we got one hot off the press of the uh, 
gel bit sharpener. I would have shown you video, but I had to use two hands and I'm using my phone. So Eric's going to try it out. It feels sharp on the edges. Follow the direction, so hopefully it'll work pretty good. Put these bolts through those holes I just drilled. Drop those down in there. Drop them in, then give them a hit with a hammer. Back it in. Well, he got it, Dad. Okay, good. <laughs> the washer will fall off, so you have to hold it until you get the nut on. Mm -hmm. So you got to. So you got to do both at the same time. There you go. Yeah. Is that a snake hole? Mm-hmm. Battery. All right. So we're gonna tag team this deck because Eric. <laughs> is getting really worn out putting all these boards on himself so so eric's gonna go through he's gonna drill the holes my son's gonna put the nails in the bolts i'm gonna screw them in and then eric's gonna come through later and tighten them all down so about a third of the way done. Aaron lasted the entire way, pounding in his little bolts. You thinking about the next trailer that you're excited to go get done? It takes some time when you're using six inch boards. Yeah, yep, it sure does. So this is 12 feet right here. This is 12 feet. It's the equivalent of the small end of the wall of my cabin right here, which is interesting. It looks bigger but we just measured it. it. Takes a while to get 12 feet done, doesn't it? <laughs> We've got one side cooking for Eric with extra mushrooms and one side cooking for myself with onions and bacon. So I added uh, part of a chopped up bell pepper and parts of a chopped up Roman tomato and I just sauteed it real quick for like, I don't know, 30-40 seconds just to kind of take the edge off um, so that way they still have a lot of their texture when they're cooked with the eggs. And then on Eric's he's got some spinach. I'll put a little spinach on mine. So now we have our eggs. I don't know how many eggs this is, I forgot. I'm going to pour a lot into Eric's, mmm, and then less into mine, and here we go, now we're going to pick it up. Oh, and Eric's, I also seasoned his uh, stuff with garlic salt, and with mine, I seasoned with seasoned salt, 
so I actually seasoned the vegetables in both just to help mix in the flavor. So we're going to turn the heat back up on low. You really want to cook these on low, but so this is what we're going to do. Wow, this doesn't look like much at all in here. Um, if you really want to take this nice and slow, you can actually turn the heat off if your heat stays too hot and uh, just kind of let the residual heat cook up. Oh no, I left Eric's running. So the lower slower you can cook these, the better. You're going to be, it's not going to be quite so chunky. Alright, so here we are with the finished cheesy product. Um, so basically I sprinkle the cheese on the top, turn the heat off, and then I just gently fold the edges over, chop, 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 fold, 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 chop, chop, chop. And that blends the cheese really nicely into everything in here. Then um, just add a little bit more seasoning to taste. Then we're going to dish it up. And here's Aaron's. He doesn't like his in a shell. So he gets some peppers and tomatoes and an orange. Here's mine. I added some chopped up cilantro and a little bit of hot sauce in there. And here's Eric's. I added some bacon bits in with his. And as always guys, thanks so much for spending a little bit of your day with me. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Whew, I'm hoping things will start to slow down for me later on this week. And next video coming up, we're going to do more maintenance work. We're going to be doing some cool stuff to the TYM 574 to get her ready for hay season. Plus, we're also going to go back and visit some of the cabin, and I'm going to show you some of the stuff we've gotten done in it. I'm going to go through and finish all the walls in one shot. Look at these split. So stay tuned for the next video coming up. Love you guys so much. Look forward to seeing you again. Take care. Bye.